This is Rock here. I'm here with my daughter Jennifer and we're going to show uh, what we call a thumper drill. So uh, we're at her on the baseball field and I have some lines drawn. So you can see the line here is she's going to hit to her left, left of the line, take a divot by thumping the ground. So uh, let's see how that works. All right, Jen, so go ahead and take a shot. You know, pretend like the ball is on the line, and, and then I'll take the ball away. And I just want you to take a divot on to your left, left of the line. Okay, that's all right. Try it again. Okay, so you hit a little bit before the line. So go ahead and try one just after the line. So, so pretend you're going to thump out out here, okay? <laughs> yeah. It's, go ahead. <laughs> try it again. Okay. It's a little bit better. Now try it again. Okay. Alright, so now you're still a little bit before the line. Let's go ahead and try with a golf ball now. Go ahead and hit a, hit a golf ball. So hit it like over that tree right there. Alright, try another one. Nice, there you go. So on that shot, you see the divot starting pretty much right on the line, which is really good. So go ahead and try that again. Do the drill again. Go ahead and go ahead and hit hit to to your left, left of the line. Thump the ground. Good. That was perfect there, right on the line. Now go ahead and try a ball. Nice. All right, that's perfect, Jennifer. Way to go. Now look at that divot. So that started like about an inch in front of the line. So that's what you want. It sounds different. It sounds different, right. So that's the thump. Did you hear that? You hit the ball and then the ground, so you get the thump. So what did that feel like to you when you did that? I mean, were you trying, you're trying to get the leading edge to go down into the ball? And then you, then you got the club to go the, the other way, right? Yeah. So go ahead and explain it, what you did. <laughs> well, I've been doing this swing since before I can remember, but you just move your forearm in the back and then you follow through. And then when you hit the ball, it should be square to the ball. Like club that. head should be square to the yeah. ball, right? Right. And then. So you, so what happens, I think, I think the thing that a lot of people, um, you know, need to realize is, you know, when, when you're, when you're hitting a shot, if this is the line that you're hitting on and this is the ball, you know, what, what's really happening is you're coming in and the leading edge, which is right here, is coming into the ball. And all you have to do is get the leading edge below the equator of the ball. So the equator of the ball would be kind of in the middle of the ball, like about right here. So as long as the leading edge gets under the equator of the ball and you're, you're going down, the club head's going down, it hits the ball, and then you have to get the club head to go this way. So the leading edge is here and it's going down and then you hit the ball and then it has to go the other way because if you don't do that what happens is if, if you know if you're trying to lean the shaft and you don't know how to get get the back end to thump the ground what happens is you go and you dig and it creates a real dig 
and that's what people are scared of. And you get wrist injuries. Yeah, you get wrist injuries, right, when you do that. But if you thump the ground, which the difference is you're coming down the same way, but instead of trying to hold an angle, you release, you release the club. So it's almost like a bunker shot, and you thump the ground. So it's, you're going like this, and basically you just thump the ground. Just thump it. Okay, and what I've seen with a lot of people, you know, including Jennifer right here, you know, when you when you get the thump just right, you get the the purest looking shot. It feels really good, doesn't it? Yeah. When you get that thump sound, and it's very distinctive, isn't it? Very distinctive. Okay. All right. Thanks, Jennifer. So, uh, Jennifer, can you hit uh, some going this way now? So we're gonna hit aim that way over towards the basketball courts okay so so here's the line here mm -hmm. so go ahead and swing and we'll see you thump thump a few okay. over there okay a little before the line so go ahead and thump another one All right, that's good. So that's pretty much right on the line. So that would have been a really good shot. Did you hear that sound? Mm -hmm. It felt good, right? Yeah. Now show, well, I don't want you to hurt your wrist, but can you show the difference if you're trying to, to uh, just dig the leading edge and what happens? Right, so you, the club just digs in and it, it just, you lose speed coming through the ball and everything. So that's not what you want. Yeah, it's a fatter, deeper divot, right? These are real thin. So let's, let's kind of show it here. So, so the, 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 the digging. That's the correct divot. Right. So that, which, that's, that's the digging divot with the leading edge digging, but not thumping the ground. And then that's, that's one thump in the ground and then if you look at her shots over here the uh, the divot show show them the divot that you thumped it really good on the, the best shot was this was this one right here so the line is here and her divot started there so she thumped the ground so the leading edge comes in like this and it hits the ball and then it, it goes the other way this way Okay, so that's what you want. You want it to come in, thump the ground, you get the sole to hit, and it thumps the ground and makes a noise. Now, if you just have the shaft leading and don't, uh, you know, get the shaft going back the other way, then what happens is the, the leading edge comes in and, and digs and just digs up the ground and it'll keep digging forever. So you have to dig, you, you dig for a second, but then the club goes the other way and comes out of it. So that's the whole secret to the thump. So hopefully everyone enjoys this, and uh, thanks Jennifer for uh, helping me out with this. And, uh, huh? Was, all right, was that good? Did you like that? Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Um, I would just say it's in the forearm. So when you go back, you have to move the forearm backwards and forwards like this. Okay. Like right. a pendulum. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thanks. See, hope you guys enjoyed. See you. Bye.